The rain has caused plenty of headaches with at least one call for a rescue across the mid state tonight. In Rutherford County, uh, County crews used a drone to help rescue a driver of a box truck. The driver got stuck and the water started rising around them. The drone allowed crews to see the best way to get to that driver and in the end, a boat was used to get to the driver. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb has a look at flooding across multiple counties. Cars are now moving near Harlan Road in Murray County, but that was a different situation earlier today because of this Carter's Creek. At one point, the creek had risen so high that officials had to shut down the road, something that several emergency managers across the midstate had to do today. It sounds like the prelude to a bad punchline, but across Middle Tennessee today, the answer to why did the ducks cross the road was no joke. West Fork Stones River flooded the Stones River Road just off Highway 231 in Rutherford County, one of a handful of roads in the county still closed tonight. Spring Hill Police sent out this picture of a water rescue near Claiborne Road in Petty Lane. They say the people inside were able to get out before the car was submerged. In Bedford County, water released from the Normandy Dam prompted a warning for anyone living in low-lying areas along the Duck River to consider moving to higher ground. Over in Murray County, where some of the areas hit hardest with rain. But this scene near Harlan Road showed just how quickly the situation could change. This section of road was reopened this evening after crews had to shut it down with a swelling Carter's Creek. But officials say the flooding in Murray County is bad enough to keep students home tomorrow. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5. Thank you, Jason. We want to be clear. Two school districts are closed tomorrow because of flooding. Both Bedford and Murray County schools are out.